In a season unlike any other, this team came together, on and off the court. When COVID protocols prevented practice, this team still worked for social change. As well as our generations to follow. We stand together for equality. As we also stand against racism, brutality, and against violence. 100% of Campbell Mann's basketball is registered to vote. Will you join us? We challenge Campbell students, faculty, and the Bowie's Creek community to get out and vote on November 3rd. Together, we can make a difference. When work was allowed again on the court, the team did just that. But the season would begin without their starting big man, Milo Stacic. Sophomore Josh Lusain stepped up. Thompson gonna drive, good dish. Josh Lusain with the two-handed jam. And a freshman nicknamed G would introduce himself with a team high 14 points in the season Aaron opener. Aaron slip pass, the freshman with the... The team would head to the Sunshine State and dominate in the Dolphin Classic, winning three straight games and a tournament title. Late. Oh my. Woo. Have stayed in the man-to-man -man thus far and have had real trouble with the backdoor Nuzzle. cut. And there it was again. What a pass from Ovsekis to Whitfield. Bounce pass. Beautiful dish to nice. Hussein. Campbell's fight would continue, but the wins would not. Performances were promising, including leading early at NC State. A three-game losing streak would bring the team to the beginning of conference play, where they were finally full strength for only three minutes. Stachich was back, but Lusain limped off in the opener versus Winthrop. But the team fought on, bringing the defending champs to the brink. Whitfield in the lane, hangs and hits. The new year brought a fresh start. The winning started again as Messiah Thompson started to heat up. but injuries continue to be an unwelcome storyline. Lusain came back, but Austin McCullough and Jesus Carolero were sidelined. The Camels were once again far from full strength, but Cedric Henderson Jr. Yeah, took flight. Cedric Henderson, he can fly on the open floor! And the Tomahawk Jam! And took this team with him against Presbyterian. Henderson taking it down the lane, contorts his body and wills it in. Campbell leads. Said with the game winner in the opener and a 21 point performance in game two gave Campbell their first sweep of the season. Bradford is just a game out of first place boasting the fifth defense in the Big South, but the homestanding Camels are the best shooting club in the conference and are back in the mix after winning three of the last. Then their rivals from Radford came to town for a three overtime thriller with the Camels coming up just short. And in three overtime, Radford escapes with a 97 to 91 victory. One night later, the Highlanders would hand Campbell a second straight loss. The team had a four and six conference record, a handful of heartbreaking losses, and an injury list a mile long. Many teams would have given up. This one did not. It shows that we belong uh, in this conference. Uh, we played the top two teams tough, and which I thought we, we definitely should have uh, pulled some of, some of them games out. But yeah, it just shows um, the resilience of this team. Uh, a couple guys out hurt. Uh, hopefully we get Jesus back soon. Like the toughness of this group, the resilience of this group. And hopefully we just continue to get tough so we can pull out some wins. On January 29th against Charleston Southern, Ricky Clemens came up clutch down the stretch with the winning bucket and winning stop. Campbell won a close one and never looked back. Rebound! Austin McCullough came back against USC Upstate, but a late defensive play by G got the ball back for senior Jordan Whitfield. With 14 seconds to go, Jordan, the senior, the pump fake, off balance, goes home! Another one-point win, followed by a 15-point blowout, had the team riding high to Hampton. Carolero came back, and the Camels flexed their muscles finally at full strength, and winners of five straight after pounding the Pirates by 19 points. 
as Campbell wins their fifth straight game. The hottest team in the Big South Conference keeps it going with a 76 to 57 blowout road win at Hampton as this one, one of really the best road wins I've seen from Campbell in a long time. The next night, the win streak seemed in jeopardy, but the Camels hung tough. Lusane let loose from long distance, and the senior was unstoppable in the second half. Really good programs have wins just like the one we just did. Um, I've never felt like our teams have had those kind, uh, where you just kind of don't play your best, but you just continue to kind of grind until you get the breakthrough and then you figure out how to hold on and, and um, so I think that's a really good sign for where we're at as a team. Back home for High Point as the Camels shut down the league's leading score and ran away with a 20-point victory. The team picked to finish 10th in the Big South, secured a third place finish and a school record seventh straight win. Everybody's locked in on one thing that's winning, regardless of if you're playing a lot of minutes, if you're on the bench cheering. I mean, we have guys on the sideline telling us what a player does and what the play call is. I mean, it, the energy's always there. This year, everybody's cheering each other on. I mean, I don't think coach calls a play and everybody's like, yeah, go get a bucket. It's a family. It's where everybody's cheering for each other. I mean, it's been nice that we've been playing well at the right time. Um, you know, not, everything's a one game season at this point. So, you know, kind of win streaks and all that kind of stuff are, are not as meaningful. You know, it's, it's more about just making sure you're playing well and, and trying to figure out how to get a W to play another day. Whitfield drives to the hoop through traffic and one. Moksekis with the offensive board. Thompson, who has been red hot, switches it home. Whitfield gathers the senior in traffic over the other senior. Dacic steps out and hits for three. Milo Stacic has hit one, make it two. Falco, good move. Henderson, what a block. It's a four on two. Thompson to Whitfield, here's the three. It goes down and a roar from the senior that doesn't want his season to end. Thompson from way outside. He didn't call glass, but it doesn't matter. Thompson, the sophomore, slips in to Clemens for two. Huge bucket for the Camels. Clemens makes up, grabs the ball, calls timeout. And that's a championship type play that you look for. Yeah, yeah. Campbell hit the road for the semifinals at Radford. It was a dominant performance from start to finish. An 18-point victory with four Camels in double figures, led by Ricky Clemens and his career-high 19 points a ninth straight win, and a trip to the Big South title game. So when you stand in that moment, the feeling you glow from, the high you go strive for, the ride this show some, you only go one more, and nothing can stop that, the path that you walk on, the roses are not bad, this legacy feel, I can hold it in my hand cause it's real, if you love me then you better be near, we waited long enough to let smoke clear, I know nothing to fear, see it's what we ride. Show us what life is, the goal is my half now So not what I might give, it's easy to break down The pieces I like to give back I'm just happy I can be like that So how your legacy feel?
I'm really happy for the team. I mean, we, we played really, really well. Um, and the guys were just completely locked in. Um, they 100% believing in each other, believing in the plan. And um, I don't think any of us had a doubt that we were coming up here and we are going to win the basketball game. You're watching ESPN's Champ Week, presented by SoFi. And we welcome you to the Hercules Tires Big South Basketball Championship, where today, the 22-1 Winthrop Eagles host the Campbell Fighting Camels for the Big South title and a trip to the NCAA tournament. In front of another national TV audience, the Camels continue to fight, trailing heavily favored Winthrop by just six at the half. The Camel School record win streak had come to an end, but to the team, it was just the beginning. Coach, what did you tell the guys in the locker room after the game? Uh, I just told them how proud I was of them, that, you know, it's always hard uh, after a loss that ends your season, likely. Um, but that doesn't take away from what we just did. Um, just how proud I was of them and how hard they worked to make things happen this year. We were tough enough to, to have a very successful season and um, we were able to grow on the basketball side. I just told them I'm super proud to be their coach and um, that I love them. We're excited about this group because I thought that we had a chance to be really special and the fact that the guys bought into that, believed what I was telling them and, and continued to grow and get better is really satisfying to be the, you know, as a coach and um, you know, I'm, I'm, I told them in the locker room, I, I want to coach this same team next year. Everybody come back, let's, let's, let's go get this thing next year.